humbled. I'm humbled because y'all don't know how I beat myself up for losing my cool. And I wish I could have just said it a different way. But when I begin, when I begin to feel the love, the support, the prayers, and it really made me realize with all of the progress that we've made, how much more work we have to do. When the pastor talked about those who've heard me speak in the past and how careful I am with my words, and then to see that day how so many in this community see a man who was fed up, a man who was hurt, who was suffering from some trauma. And no matter what I said, and let me be clear, everything I said was facts. There's still some who only see an angry black man. I don't apologize for my passion. But what I ask, those individuals who are behind those efforts and you know who you are we don't need to name drop today mm. <laughs> I'm asking you as your chief of police to pray for him. I mean that pray for him. pray for him. and I'm also asking you to pray for our black boys in this community and our black men I mean that from the bottom of my heart because when we look at where we are in the investigations that are ongoing and the interactions between the unit that has been disbanded and those young men who were interacting with that unit, I received a call from a community member who said that some of those in the community who are involved in crime may see that as an opening to commit further violence in our city, but I don't believe that. Amen. I believe what we are experiencing today is a movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A movement that is bigger than every single person here, but collectively mm -hmm. as a community, mm -hmm. is going to move this city forward like we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. 